The story of devotion to Wesleyan faith is one chapter in Methodist history that is being reclaimed in Southern and Central Europe, Russia, Eurasia, Germany, and the Nordic and Baltic areas. Each of these areas has experienced social and political challenges that nearly suffocated the church, leaving communities that shun religion or that are staunchly anti-Protestant. Despite a turbulent history, throughout these countries are vibrant United Methodist communities that dream of overcoming difficulties and becoming a church that engages in ministry with the poor, improves global health, develops principled leaders, and plants and grows other churches by creating new places for new people. Today, 45 United Methodist international and migrant congregations exist in continental Western Europe. 20 are in Germany. Bishop Rosemary Venner believes that the entire United Methodist denomination needs to respond to the challenges and opportunities the new congregations bring. In Germany, we are 60,000 people in a country of 80 million people. So we are really a very small part of the of the society. However, we seek to, to live with the people, to serve the people, to, to give our contrib contribution to the ec ecumenical work of the churches and uh, to the ministry of all the churches. And, and I think uh, this is also something which is uh, good to share and to let others know that it doesn't uh, necess necessarily mean to be a uh, majority, to be big to uh, serve as salt and light uh, in the world. And it's also through our uh, engagement in the mission of the churches in Asia and especially in Africa that we want to diminish poverty. And uh, the same with fighting against HIV AIDS and malaria, we engage in programs with our partner conferences in Africa especially to approach uh, this area of focus. And all in all, uh, it's, it's very exciting to learn from each other and uh, to work under the same uh, areas in various parts of the world. We come from many different places in the world. We seek to proclaim the gospel by word and deed and where we uh, are doing the ministry and the mission of making disciples for the transformation of the world. It's no longer normal that people know what Christmas means, what Easter means, what uh, Good Friday means and so on and so on. We are able to share how to minister as a church, how to live as a church in such a neighborhood, in such a situation. So we have to go out, we have to engage where people live, and meet them in restaurants, in cafes, in other places where they are familiar to go and try to build up faith communities at, uh, how we say, third places, uh, places which are not the chapels <laughs> and not the houses of the people, but uh, third places where we can meet and engage with each other. A bishop's task is noble and practical. United Methodist bishops oversee and promote the Church's spiritual interests. Much of the work of these bishops comes through contributions to the Episcopal Fund, which provides economic support by paying bishop salaries, pensions, benefits, business travel, and meeting expenses. The Episcopal Fund apportionment provides economic support for these diverse and important tasks. In Europe and especially in Germany, we are paying apportionments to the Episcopal Fund and we are receiving money from the Episcopal Fund. So it's good to know that uh, because the ministry of the bishops and of myself as, as the Bishop of Germany area is not only linked to that area and to that country, but serving the whole church, which is a worldwide church, it's good that we share uh, by uh, taking over the financial responsibilities through the Episcopal Fund and by contributing to the Episcopal Fund. It is by your faithful giving that we are able to support needed missions and ministries that help to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. Your gifts are making a difference. Mm -hmm.